In Saveri Negale is a photo documentary that develops a visual narrative focused on the violation of children's rights in Burkina Faso. The project was developed in 2011-2012 in collaboration with Amnesty International Burkina Faso. And since the beginning of the project, we knew that the photo documentary was going to have a clear flow in terms of outputs, and so we defined certain lines that we wanted to develop. From the photo documentary, we wanted to develop a book, exhibitions, presentations and talks, and digital galleries. This was in terms of trying to have an effective impact through the dissemination of the work itself, being this in an academic setting or as well in a non-academic setting. First of all, we went through a phase of pre-development and brainstorming of what we wanted to achieve through the creation of this photo reportage. The idea of pushing further a public image of child rights and underlining the violation of those rights in Burkina Faso called for a need of telling real stories and showing real images. This needed to be related as well to a flow of depicting a certain reality in Burkina Faso and that was connected to try to gain access in diverse situations. In this way, we try to visualize the deprivation of human rights violation through the use of photography. The photo documentary needed to be precise, concise, and needed to make an impact and intervention in the field in order as well to push further concept of social awareness, not only in Burkina Faso, but also internationally. Through the various stages that were fought at the beginning, there were concepts coming out in terms of children's rights following up the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child and different ideas of what the project needed to bring in terms of provision, protection and as well in terms of aspects of participation of the children in the project itself. This was really important to reflect on not only from a human rights angle, but as well from a sociological one, in order to be as critical as possible on how the development of the visual imagery was actually going to be approached. In terms of this visual presentation, I'm focusing on the visual communication aspect and what I was looking for as a photographer and visual sociologist within the visual representation of the violation of human rights. First of all, I wanted the photographs to be a process of evidence of the human rights violation we were actually observing. This was connecting to concept of poverty and human rights, and it was linking to aspects of health and housing. Another aspect that I was trying to effectively depict and make clear was child labor. I so tried to first understand how to develop the old narrative in order to engage an audience reaction. I started to use close-ups and wide shots showing the wider picture and the details of the violation of child rights, while as well creating a narrative that was going to balance feeling of closeness and distance. This was really important when thinking on how we construct an image for an audience reaction. We also wanted to show the process of making where children were involved, for example in the production of cotton or furniture, trying to follow the different stages of the process and creating a narrative that somehow was as well working with two different concepts. One was the concept of softness of the visual, that was also calling for a romantic relation to the subject. The other one was the concept of energy in terms of the contrast and sharpness of the image. When working with child labor in mind sites, following child trafficking or child prostitution, the visual process was much more complicated. This was a work setting that was quite harsh and dangerous in, in terms of security and in terms of empirical production of the photo documentary. It was clear that as a photographer, photo reporter or researcher, you need to be able to react 
to filter and to understand these realities. You need to be prepared before you engage with the fieldwork and you need to be prepared in terms of many different social and cultural aspects as well as specific and detailed understanding of human rights, in this case children's rights. In terms of the visual narrative, I created around 600 photographs that I also put together in terms of layout and composition in order to have a complete and strong narrative. These images bring together many different aspects of visual communication and of visual choices that relate to artistic photographic vision, aesthetics, sociological understanding and human rights practice being these in human rights education, communication or campaign. I think that this photo reportage can really provide a visual intervention and a visual understanding of documenting human rights violations.